Okay, in this video we're going to talk about something called angle bisectors. And we're going to say it in the context of triangles, but really angle bisectors uh, can bisect any angle, whether it's in a triangle, whether it's in a different kind of a polygon like a square, or if it's just a regular angle uh, existing by itself, okay? Now let's talk about what angle bisector means. Now we know that bisecting something means cutting it in half, right? So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting an angle in half. And cutting an angle in half means you're cutting it into two equal halves. So let's take an example. All right, so, <clears throat> so we have triangle ABC, okay? And let's take angle BAC, okay? So this angle right here. And let's draw an angle bisector. So let's go ahead and cut that in half. Let me just draw it a little bit better there. There we go. Now I'm just going to extend that line all the way out there, draw it kind of light, and do the same thing up here, extend it all the way out there. So once I've got the, and let's call this uh, line, I'll put a point out here. This would be what line A, and we called it D. So line AD is the bisector, right, of angle BAC. Okay, so what? So we've divided it in half. So let's say if this were like 60 degrees, each of these individual angles would be something like 30 degrees, right? We just cut it directly in half. But what's the property that I want to talk about? <clears throat> if you went to any point on this line, on the angle bisector, okay? So let's just choose this one. And you wanted to find the closest distance to the side. All right, so if I wanted to find the closest distance to this side, for example, it would be straight down, okay? It wouldn't be like out to here, it wouldn't be out to here, it wouldn't be there, it wouldn't be there. It would basically just go straight down, right? And the same thing to this side, right? If I wanted to find the closest distance from this point to any point on this side, it would just go straight down. Well, what that closest distance, and let's just call this F, and let's just call this G, and we'll call this point H, okay? This closest distance forms a right angle, okay? What you've done now is you've actually created a right triangle by forming the angle bisector and going to the nearest point. These two, so let me say that one more time. If I choose any point on this, on this line, on this angle bisector, and I want to get to the closest point on the side, it will form a perpendicular, right? Or a right angle. This triangle and this little triangle are congruent. So here are some of the properties. I could say triangle... A, G, H is congruent to triangle A, F, H. That's one property. The closest point from this line here, this line segment and this line segment are equidistant. So I could say line GH and line FH are congruent. Okay, so those would be exactly the same. <coughs> now notice what that means. According to the hypotenuse leg theorem, if one leg 
of a triangle is congruent to an, another leg of another triangle, and the hypotenuses are the same, in which in this case they are, these triangles are congruent by hypotenuse leg. Isn't that interesting? Okay. And then finally, these, like I said, are equidistant. So GH and FH are, are basically the same distance, which makes everything else in these little triangles the same distance. Okay, so that's called the angle bisector theorem. Hope that was helpful.